Welcome to the Aviation Maintenance Training video series. This video is covering aircraft composite construction. In modern aircraft design, composite materials are playing a greater and greater role. Uh, however, this, composites are not just limited to aviation. They're also used in maritime as well as automotive industries to design boats and cars. The main reason that we use composite materials in aircraft is that they are strong as metals, however, they are very lightweight. For example, the new Boeing 787 Dreamliner is constructed of 80% composite materials. This has allowed an estimated 20% savings in fuel consumption. This fuel savings is going to save the airline's money, which will later be passed on to you, the customer. Typical aircraft composite uh, construction consists of a lightweight core material bonded between two layers of fiber reinforced plastic. The fiber reinforced plastic is giving the strength of the material while the core material is giving the stiffness that we need. Now in this type of construction, we have different types of fibers. Carbon fiber, glass fiber, or aramid fiber, which are also known as Kevlar. Now to give the stiffness, we have the core material. Typical core materials can be foam or a honeycomb material. One advantage of using foam as the core in composite construction is the ability to easily manufacture aerodynamic shapes. These shapes can be created by shaping the foam core using a hot wire and sanding equipment. A hot wire is simply a bare wire that is held tight in a frame while a low voltage high electrical current is passed through it. The electrical current heats the wire, which can then be used to cut the foam material. After the core material is cut, it is then sanded down to the final shape. Sanding also smooths the surface to prepare for bonding with the fiber reinforced plastic. Once the sanding is finished, it is time to apply the layers of fiber reinforced plastic to the shape. The first step is to mix the plastic resin with the hardening agent. This resin requires a 3 to 1 ratio of resin to hardener, but other resins could be different, so always read the directions before mixing. Once the resin is thoroughly mixed, fiber and resin are ready to be applied to the shape. It is simply a matter of laying on the fabric and applying an even coating of resin. Now the composite layup, as it's called, is left to dry, a process called curing, for 24 hours. This was only a quick demonstration to familiarize you with aircraft composite construction. Real aircraft composite construction requires more time and precision shaping and curing techniques.